Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Blu-ray collection update and unboxing and a brighter video because apparently I forgot to turn on my light during the last one. Um, if you all don't know me, I'm David Cantu and I review movies over at CinemaDeviant.com. I started doing this to kind of give people a heads up as to what's coming out uh, in the upcoming weeks or, you know, being released now. So um, we're going to go ahead and start off this video with one that um, kind of surprised me. <laughs> um, it's by a company that puts out some really good films. Um, and it's The Perfect Husband. The Perfect Husband. And right there, when you say it, you kind of almost have to say, The Perfect Husband. <laughs> it says there to love, honor, and slay. Um, now, this almost reminds me of uh, kind of like a... Uh, Lifetime movie, I guess you could say, with a tagline anyway, and uh, and the title, but it is by uh, Art Exploitation Films, and it is out now. Um, this company puts out some really good films. They are um, some of the best, you know, genre type films, horror, uh, drama, things like that. A lot of them are foreign, but there are a good portion of them that are uh, North American. So they do put out some really good films, uh, some that might fly under the radar for a lot of people. So um, I would suggest checking out their company. Uh, again, it's Art Exploitation, Art Exploitation Films. Um, you can you can, you can find them online. Um, they have some really cool stuff. Some movies may not be for everybody. Um, I do also suggest one uh, called uh, Horsehead, I believe. And that's like a, a weird, trippy type of a, a horror film with a, a killer that's like, well, he has a horse head, <laughs> you know. So that, that's kind of be that, that's kind of interesting to check out. So I do suggest that one as well. But as far as the perfect husband, there goes. At least there's some uh, some Blu-ray artwork there. Nothing too crazy. Nothing on the inside either. But. You know, there you have it. Again, like I said, it is out now. Um, and I'm sure you can find it either on their site uh, or on Amazon or something like that. There's the back there if you want to read what it's about. And up next is Hardcore Henry. Um, now, Hardcore Henry, I did miss it in theaters. But, you know, uh, I do know that it, it is fully a first-person view type of movie. Almost like you would say, you know, a video game. I do remember the... Um, the music video that was done that, you know, I guess inspired this film. I want to say that it was called Bad Motherfucker <laughs> or something to that degree. You could probably look it up on YouTube. And um, there goes the special features and what it's about if you want to pause it. And yeah, I am really uh, pumped to see it. It looks really cool. I can get a little motion sick at times, so I'm a little weary about that. Um, so I wonder... How it's going to be, I do like uh, Shalto Copley, who was in District 9 and, you know, all those other movies. So, I, um, I'm i really excited to see it. Either way. Okay, it does come with Digital HD. I'll put that over here. And, as per usual, uh, the Universal, uh, typical Universal, you know, releases don't have no interior artwork. They do have a basic type of uh, print on the blu-ray uh itself i do again i do wish that they would at least put a little bit of artwork onto the blu-ray um that would make the world a difference but uh hardcore henry does come out was it july 26th and again it is from universal studios home entertainment so you can check it out then and next up um okay so in the past probably maybe uh two or three videos ago I did show off some films from Arrow, Arrow Films, uh, or Arrow Video, I should say, that they had been sending me for, oh man, months and months. You know, they, um, they, they have some really good, like, retro films or older films that uh, maybe not a lot of people are aware of. And um, I reached out to them, showed them the video, and they went ahead and said, you know what, you, you, know, you need some of our, our retail stuff. To show off what we, I guess, put out as a company. So they went ahead and started sending me. They started sending me their retail stuff. This is a uh, 
you know, a Blu-ray copy of Crimes of Passion. And this stars Kathleen Turner and Anthony Perkins. So, um, if you don't know Kathleen Turner, she has, she's done, uh, I think the, the most cult film that she's been in was, uh, Serial Mom and Anthony Perkins, of course, of Psycho fame. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. These are a little bit tough, tougher to open. I can't really get my, uh, my little opener. Okay. You know what? I call, I keep calling my opener. We should like name it or something. I don't know. Pablo, maybe. <laughs> or uh, Steve or so something bland like Bob I don't know comment down below if you want to name this little gadget here it would uh, make things a lot easier whenever I talk about it but uh, here you go there's Crimes of Passion oh my god man the artwork is in itself worth buying Arrow video uh, Blu-rays as you can see I get a little closer um, it almost has like this textured feel to it um, I don't know if you remember, uh, I don't know, there, there's some releases out there, like Fox da, did a, a Sons of Anarchy release that almost felt like a leathery type of feel. This is pretty much exactly what it feels like. So, and it is uh, directed by Ken Russell, and there goes the synopsis and the special features in the back, if you guys want to check that out and pause it. Um, there is a pretty good amount of special features on here, which is really cool, man. You know, Arrow Films does a great job at uh, doing a restoration. I believe this is a 2K restoration um, of the of this film, and uh, adding a lot of special features for for uh, fans of like these cult films or these older films. Um, so I'm really excited to check this out as well. Um, and here goes the full, you know, Blu-ray there. Um, this is really cool. There's a little insert here of the crazies. I love that movie. This was one of my favorite George Romero movies, you know, after uh, all of the of the dead movies that he's done. So that's really cool as well. And there he goes the back. There's a couple little like one sheet, you know, posters of all the various movies there. That's really cool. Um, there's an insert as well. And we'll kind of take a look at this. Kind of gives you uh, a bit of info about the movie. The table of contents, what's in this booklet. And there you go. Just want to pause. <laughs> That's okay. Interesting. And you guys want to pause that and read that whenever y'all want to. Pull that back. Pull that back a little bit. Check that out. This is really cool. That this is a lot of this is a lot in this you know little booklet. So I'm very impressed of this packaging from Arrow Films. Over there, Kathleen Turner, and I. I'm not even gonna ask what she, <laughs> I'm not even gonna speculate on what she's holding. I'll have to uh, watch the film. I have a good idea what that is. There you go. Kathleen Turner again. And it's a cool little uh, thing about the restoration, what they did, I guess, as far as uh, restoring the, the, the picture quality. It's really neat. And then Anthony Perkins right on the back. That's really cool. Uh, the inside here. <laughs> you can see me holding up. It's really cool. Let's go and take this off and see what this looks like. This is a DVD. So it does come with Blu-ray and DVD of the film. Kathleen Turner. It's really cool. I'm really impressed by this. So one thing that I did forget for this release is that uh, the insert here actually is a reversible cover. So um, that's one thing that I didn't notice right away. So, it does look like that. And it does have the backing with the special features as well. So, that's really cool. That's really cool as well. Uh, Arrow Films, man, you guys are knocking it out of the park. So, go ahead and uh, get one of these if you can. Next up is The Nick, the complete second season. And that comes out. Uh, it's from HBO. And that comes out uh, August 2nd. So, 
Uh, let's check this out here. I did review this film before on uh, CinemaDeviant.com. And I shouldn't say film. It's a TV show. Um, it, um, it's about, I want to say it's about 10 episodes. And um, it's probably one of the best I've seen. I'm, I'm really uh, kind of weary about watching things that are like, uh, I guess you could say period pieces. I, um, and especially medical type stuff. This again has one of those type of uh, feels of the slip cover. That's it's almost like that leathery type of feel. That's really cool, or pleather, or whatever it is. Uh, looks really nice. Clive Owen is, uh, you know, always great in what he does. And I guess if you want to see the special features and what it's about, I get a little bit closer so you can read. Um, but th this show is really cool. I I hadn't watched the first season when I when I reviewed this, um, but. I gave it a shot anyway. I was like, okay, well, let me just go ahead and check it out. Uh, the great thing about this show is that um, after the first episode, literally, I was caught up. I already knew what was going on. Um, I had a, a pretty great idea of what, you know, the show was about. Um, and basically, it's kind of like the beginnings of uh, medicine. You know, so if you watch, like, Grey's Anatomy or things like that... Um, this is like that, a little bit more graphic in a sense, but it does have uh, kind of it, it gives you explanations on certain things that we have now in medicine, uh, which is really interesting. Um, and I think that's one of the things that kind of caught me with the show. So it does come with a digital HD copy as well. And uh, yes, there are there are ten episodes. And there goes the inside there. It gives you kind of like an episode list. And disc one, disc two, disc three. And there was uh, <laughs> disc three and disc four as well. So, and then there goes the back end. So, you check that out as well. Um, again, I do suggest checking this show out. Um, it is one of the better, like, medical type shows that I've seen. I... I you know, honestly, I am a fan of Grey's Anatomy um, and stuff like that, uh, mainly because of my wife. I blame her. But <laughs> um, this, this does feel very much like that with, like, the drama between people and stuff like that throughout the show. And, uh, again, like I said, you know, it, it deserves being checked out. It really does. And it does come out, like I said, August 2nd from HBO. And uh, what else here? Okay, also, if you guys didn't catch my last video, which I'm sure a lot of you guys did, um, I did pick up a lot of the uh, different editions of Batman v Superman. Um, Warner Brothers Home Entertainment did send me the standard edition to review, which I did. Um, and if you guys want to see the un the complete unboxing, you can check out my last two, you know, Blu-ray videos. I did that there. And um, the th here goes the 3D Batman v Superman Ultimate Edition. And the Target exclusive Digibook uh, Batman v Superman Ultimate Edition. Look, look at that. That looks really cool. I'm, I'm really impressed by this one. This is Honestly, this is my, my pick. If uh, you are going to go buy uh, any one of these editions of Batman v Superman, I do suggest, I highly recommend buying the Digibook. Um, I believe it's more bang for its buck. Um, it does contain like a booklet that has the art of Batman v Superman which is really cool, and it is $5 cheaper uh, than any of the other editions in the 3D or the Steelbook. Uh, those editions come out uh, at $30. This one's $25, so I do suggest this one. Um, and then here's the, the Steelbook, the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook, which is reversible, as you can see here. Um, there's the Superman cover, and then you flip it over to the back, and there is a Batman cover, uh, but they do have... A separate edition that does have Batman front and center uh, that you can buy. I chose to end up just getting this one because, uh, you know, I did have trouble buying the Batman one. But this one is good enough as it is. If you're going to open it, just watch it um, as a, just, you know, not not as a collector. Uh, if you're just going to watch the film, then this one's good enough for, for anything else. For, I guess, for everybody, I should say. So, again, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, 
if you guys can like comment subscribe share i do appreciate it. you guys have given me a ton of support already so man i love that shout out to all y'all out there that have commented on on the videos in the past and stuff like that and subscribe y'all y'all are freaking subscribing that is really cool y'all are driving me bonkers with that so that's really awesome um i really appreciate that guys so again um you know come back for more videos we'll be doing uh again more round of videos more podcasts uh more of these blu-ray collection updates and on that note we will catch you next time bye